I'm a member of Christ Embassy Church, Nadia, Kampala, Uganda. I welcome you to Christ Embassy Chambu Online Church. Our mission is to preach the Word of God and spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in the whole world. Let me just take this opportunity to thank our man of God, Right Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakulomi. And our higher esteem zone pastor, Pastor Riso Salini, for the opportunity accorded to me to preach the word of God. Let's begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our life. We thank you for the peace. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the life that you have given us, for the faith that you have given us. Father, as I preach this word, I pray that it penetrates the hearts of men and women so that they can serve you, so that they can accept our Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Brothers and sisters, my theme verse for the sermon today will be taken from a Rhapsody of Realities, April edition for the year 2021. And the title is Having the Good Kind of Faith. Operating the good kind of faith. And our theme scripture, theme verse will be taken from the book of Romans, chapter 4, verse 17. As it is written, 
I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him who he believed, even God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. So, Pastor says, faith is a principle by which we live in the kingdom of God. The Bible says, the just shall live by faith. In other words, his righteous ones shall live by faith. That's taken from the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 17. And the faith we have been given is the God kind of faith. You can apply it as God did throughout the scriptures and be guaranteed the same results. The Bible says, by faith, he framed the cosmos, the world. In other words, God created this world by his faith. He spoke the word and this world came into being. That is having the good kind of faith from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 3. No wonder Jesus said in Mark, chapter 11, verse 22, have faith in God. Several translations read, have the faith of God, or the God kind of faith. The supernatural faith that God operates. We read about it in our opening verse. He calls things that are not as though they were. Seeing the unseen by the spoken word, you bring into physical manifestation things which are not perceptible to the senses. That is having the good kind of faith. So in that book, uh, the book of Hebrews, verse, verse 3, it says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which are visible. This world as we see it was framed by the word of God. God spoke in the beginning. God created heaven and earth. In the book of Genesis, he spoke. And this world as we see it came into existence. He said, let there be light. And light came. So, that's the good kind of faith we need to operate in as children of God. We are created from the unseen by the word of God, by the spoken word of God. So, we continue. What about things that are, that are already there that you don't want? There are certain things that exist in life but you don't want them. Take an example, Sick diseases and sicknesses that ravage the body, we don't want them. So what we, what we do about those things, we use our faith to remove them, to decimate them. They exist, but using the God kind of faith, you speak the word and those things disappear. So they exist, but you use your faith, you speak, and they are decimated, they disappear. The Bible says in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 28, and best things of the world, and things which are despised, as God chosen, yeah, 
things which are not, to bring to note things that are. He says we use things which are not to bring to note things that are. What a principle. In other words, you can use the word of God, your faith in God, to dismiss those things which you don't want in your life. Things that exist. Take an example of sickness. If your body is ravaged by sickness and disease, you can use the word of God. You speak to that sickness and it will disappear from your body. That is having the God kind of faith. And that is the faith that we are required operating as children of God. There is no disadvantage. With the words you can destroy or dismiss things which are. Remember, you can call things that are not as though they were. Hallelujah. There is no disadvantage to the child of God, whatever the situation you're facing today. There is always a way out. The victory is in your mouth. Don't look at the circumstances, for they are subject to change. Look at the unseen, your victory. The picture, the word of God projects. Look at what the word is telling you and stick to the word. The word of God is truth. The word of God is light. The more the dad the situation or circumstance is, the more you affirm the word and proclaim that you are victorious in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus can't be overthrown. Use it and you will always win. Blessed be God. The book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 22. This is what our Lord Jesus Christ said about having the good kind of faith. Chapter 22. So Jesus answered, and say to them, have faith in God. Another translation it says, have the faith of God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things which he says will come to pass. He will have whatever he says. Hallelujah. That is having the good kind of faith. Jesus said, you can move any mountain. A mountain can be any challenge to your life, any situation, any circumstance. You can speak to that situation by applying the word of God and having the good kind of faith. Without any doubting in your heart and believing that what you have said will come to pass, you will have whatever you want in this life. You can move any situation, any circumstance, any challenge. So as a child of God, let us operate with a good kind of faith. As Christians, this is our calling. This is how we are supposed to live in this world. We live above the system of this world because we operate with that good kind of faith. Hallelujah. And using the name of Jesus, we have the power of atony reign and rule over any circumstance on this earth. The name of Jesus is higher than any other name. There is no any other name that is above that name in heaven and on earth. So using that name, 
we can speak to any challenge, to, to any situation, any circumstance, and it will obey. It will bow down to that name, the name of Jesus. He said, in my name, you will cast out devils, demons. In my name, you will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. That is having the power in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I call upon you to apply it, use that name in your life. To change any situation, any circumstance. But to begin with, first of all, you must be born again. You must be a child of God. To have that power to use that name of Jesus. You have to accept the Lordship of Jesus in order to use his name. The Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9, that if you confess the Lordship of Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So it begins by confession of the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And at this juncture, if you are the person that has not yet accepted our Lord Jesus Christ, you have not believed in Him, you have not accepted Him as your Lord and Savior, I call upon you to do so now because the time is short. We are in the end times, end time. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming back soon. So let me first of all lead you into that prayer where you confess the Lordship of Jesus Christ. You just have to repeat after me and then you'll be in the kingdom of God. As a child of God, you'll have the good kind of faith and you'll have the opportunity, the chance to change situations around you. So you say after me, O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. We will send you our material. Now that you are born again, the electronic version, you can download it from our Facebook page. Now that you are born again, you are a child of God. I congratulate you on this important decision that you have made. And now, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you. The Lord keep you from falling. The Lord protect you. The Lord preserve you in your going out and in your coming in. In your lying down and in your rising up until you come to stand before Jesus on that day in which there is neither sunrise nor sunset but the eternal light of God. Amen. Amen.